In this video, I'm going to show you how to download shaders for Minecraft Bedrock 1.21.50. The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing Google Chrome. And what we need to do is we need to go ahead and download shaders. Now, one really safe and reliable website to download shaders is mcpecentral.com. So make sure to go ahead and look it up. I'll also be linking this website in the description down below and in the pinned comment. But anyways guys, when you load into this website, you will be greeted by this awesome looking interface. And all you want to do is you want to go to the top left and then select on the three bars right over here. Then go ahead and scroll down until you see the option over here that says shaders. And then we will should get a list of all of the different shaders that we can actually download from this website. So go ahead and now find some shaders that you would like to install. There's a lot of great options. Just obviously you want to make sure that they are for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Okay, so I'm going to be downloading this one right over here. So I'm just going to select on the article and then typically it is going to show you a bunch of information regarding the shader and it is typically going to include some images. But anyways, guys, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and read throughout this entire article and you just want to scroll down until you get this blue download link over here. Now on this website, all of the download links should be blue. So that is how you're able to see them easily. So all you want to do is just select on it like so. And typically it will take you to a media fire page and this is basically a website where people like upload files and stuff like that it is super easy to use and is honestly pretty reliable but anyways guys all you want to do for here is you want to scroll down and then you just want to go ahead and download it so in this video we're going to be downloading the realism mode graphics version 1.2 so all you want to do is go ahead and select on that and then there you go it will now be installed in our device now sometimes whenever you do attempt to download a shader from the internet or something like that you may need to go through some advertisements or even something like link advertise uh, so just be patient with that and obviously you just want to make sure that you are safe and that you are only using reliable websites but anyways guys once you downloaded the, your shaders the next thing you want to do is you want to open up the google play store now, the reason why we need to open up the Google Play Store is because we need to download a particular file manager app. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on search and then look up this app called file manager. The reason why we need to do this is because we need to actually adjust some files within our device. And in particular, you actually want to go ahead and download this file manager app. There's like a ton of applications called file manager, but just make sure you download this one. Make sure that the icon is the same. So you just want to go ahead and install it. It is completely free. And once you install it, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on open. And then you will get a bunch of folders that looks like this. Don't be confused and don't be worried, guys, because we only really need to use a couple of different things. So all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on the downloads folder like so. And then from here, all you want to do is you want to look for the shaders that you did just download. So recall in our video, we did download the Realismo graphics version 1.2 and it is still right over here. But alternatively, you guys can use the search button right over here and then just look for the shader manually. But that is completely up to you. OK, so now that your shader is in the folder, all you want to do is you want to long press on it like so. And once you do that, a menu in the bottom should appear like this. And then you just want to go ahead and press on this particular button that says rename. OK, guys, now here's where things get very important. Please make sure to pay attention because if you mess this up, then your shader will not work. So you just want to make sure that the file name ends in a .mc pack, not a .mc pack that zip or anything like that. So in our example, we have a .zip in the end. So that means we need to go ahead and remove it so that the file name ends in .mc pack. Once again, it is very important that the file ends in a .mc pack because obviously a shader is basically like a form of a texture pack. But anyways, guys, once you're done with that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button that says done. All right. And once you rename the file, then the icon will actually change. And that is how you know you are on the right track. But anyways, guys, all you want to do is you want to long press on the file once more. But this time you want to actually go ahead and press on these three dots that say more and then go ahead and select on open with. And then a bunch of options will appear over here. But all you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate Minecraft like so. And you want to go ahead and press on just once or always. They should basically do the same thing. So I'm just going to be pressing on just once for this video. And then it will automatically load in Minecraft. And now it will say import starting. And if we did everything correctly, yep, it has successfully installed our Minecraft shader. So all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and just press on settings like so. 
and then you want to go to the left menu and then scroll down until you see global resources then you want to go ahead and press on my packs you want to select on the shader that you did just download you want to go ahead and press on activate like so as you're able to tell it is currently active and then you just want to go ahead and load back into your minecraft game and once you're done with that all you want to do is you want to load into a minecraft world that you do have all right guys and here we are in our minecraft world and as you're able to tell all of the textures are completely changed and we really do get all of this like nice lighting from this shader so yeah if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers see you later french fries